I was writing, it was a simple process. As simple as it was, you know, moving on its own accord in that way. So I'll just go a little further, so how it manifested, and I'll share my experience in a couple of minutes. The first thing is, I am not an author. I don't have great writing skills, and I'm not a speaker either. So I request all the people, if I do any mistake in my language expression, bear with me. In language, we have thousands of words. And as we know, few words are definable and few words are indefinable. For example, you can define this word T, what it is. But we cannot define the word love. That's why we see hundreds of movies based on this particular word. So in that way, there are so many indefinable words and many people try to define them. And of course, they fail while defining, maybe superficially, they may let, penetrate a little deeper into that, but still, that remains undefinable. For example, love, bliss, enlightenment, samadhi, sambodhi, master, happiness, mind, these are the words it is very difficult to define. And this particular word, Mushin, falls into this category. It is not just a word, but one cannot understand the word by reading a dictionary or talking to somebody. And the easiest thing is just look into what it is. And Mushin, Mushin this word I stumbled upon a few years ago, I mentioned in the story, I narrated. And when I heard for the first time the word, I felt there is music in it, rhythm, pushing. When I uttered the word, I was in love with the word. Actually, I don't know the true meaning of it, but I liked the rhythm in it. Then while I started writing so many pages, I came to know the meaning of the word mushin. It means no path. In Zen monasteries, in Zen Buddhism, there is a phrase called Mushin Notion. It means mind without mind. It looks very absurd, illogic and ridiculous, paradoxical. But it is true. There is an ex experience one can go beyond mind. One may, cannot, one, one may not define it what it is, but we can go. It's like I can eat a fruit without knowing its name and I can experience it. If anybody asks what fruit you have eaten, I may not express it. That kind of experience. So Mushin notion means mind without mind. And Mushin means no mind or thoughtlessness or no path. And there are other meanings also called emptiness. I don't agree with that. And as we know, every kind has two sides. That's what Zen people believe and there's the existential truth that we have day and we have night, yin and yang, gent, lady, this and that. The kind has other side too. That side I'm going to discuss a little further now. That means spontaneity. We all know what it is. But we, we really don't mean it. I don't agree with anybody's uh, rather just talking about it. 